Hello and welcome to GD Live at Pulse with teacher Alex to another GD Science screencast. Today's topic is work and power and simple machines. A quick overview. What is work done in physics? Simple machines and how they work? And what's the unit of power? Work done. Consider two boxes, one empty and one full of books. You push the empty box across the floor easily. You push and, and push on the box full of books, but you can't get it to move. Scientists consider only one of these tasks to be work done. Work done is when a force causes an object to move a distance. The amount of work done on an object is calculated by multiplying the force applied to the distance the object moves. The work equation is as follows. Work is equal to force times distance. The unit of work is joules, same as the unit of energy. Going back to the example on top, do you know which example does not do work and which example does do work? the box that is pushed through a distance. In this case, work is done, whereas the, books, uh, the box full of books, which doesn't move, in this case, work is not done, because although a force is applied, the box does not move through a distance. Another way to consider work is that whenever energy is transferred, work is done. So we can formulate a second definition for work. Work is done when energy is transferred. The amount of energy transferred is equal to the amount of work done. The unit of energy is joules as well. Consider the example above. When you lift a 10 Newton weight from the floor to a 2 meter high shelf, you have done work because you lift a weight, which is a force, through a distance of two meters. Remember, work done is equal to force times distance. However, energy is transferred as well. The box gains kinetic energy when it, is, when it is lifted, and once it is on the shell, it has more gravitational potential energy than before. The initial energy comes from the person lifting the box, from the chemical energy being in his muscles, in his cells, being changed to kinetic energy making his body and the box move. In the end, the energy is transferred into gravitational potential energy in the box, and the amount of energy transferred is the same amount as work done. 10 Newton times 2 meters distance would give us 20 joules of work done, and the box gains 20 joules of gravitational potential energy. What are simple machines? Simple machines make work easier, usually by reducing the applied force necessary by increasing the distance over which that force is applied. There's a simple rule that in a simple machine we have an input force which works over a certain distance and an output force which usually works over a shorter distance. The total amount of work done, input and output, is the same. Since we change the distance, the forces vary as well. <coughs> Simple machines can as well change the direction of the force, like a screw or a wedge. Some examples of simple machines include inclined planes, which are flat surface placed at an angle and load can be pushed or rolled up and down. For example, a ramp. A ramp increases the distance that needs to be covered to get the height covered. We have levers, a board or bar that pivots on a support called a fulcrum load is moved by applying force to the part of the lever that has a longer arm. The output is going to be via the shorter arm. 
pulleys, a rope wrapped around one or more wheels. Load can be attached to rope or wheel and lifted, like a crane for example. We have screws, which is an inclined plane wrapped around a lever. Turning a screw causes it to move up or down. An inclined plane that moves is a wedge. A wedge is used to split objects, like an axe. Wheel and axle, a wheel with a rod through it. Load can be attached to the axle and moved. The doorknob is an example. You turn it on the outside and the lock is turned by a shorter distance with more force on the inside. Simple machines can also change the amount of the force you need to apply. If the amount of force that comes out of a machine, the output force is greater than the amount of force you apply to the machine, the input force, then the machine is said to amplify the force. A machine's mechanical advantage tells you the factor by how much the machine amplifies the force. So the mechanical advantage is the output force divided by the input force. In the example below, if the amount of force needed halves to lift the box into the back by using the inclined plane, then the mechanical advantage will be equal to 2. The output force will be double the input force. Power is the amount of work done or energy transferred in a certain amount of time. The faster work is done, the greater the power. Power can be calculated by dividing the amount of work done or energy transferred by the amount of time it takes for the transfer. The power equation is as follows. Power equals work divided by time or power equals energy transferred divided by time. What's the unit of power? What's the unit of power? That is the unit of power. What? Some questions. Connect the type of simple machine with the correct item. Some names will be used, some not. A slide is an inclined plane, correct. A twist top lid and jar is a screw. A hammer can be used as a wedge. A paint roller is a wheel and axle. Complete the statement using an amount based on the information in the section. A simple machine that requires half the input force requires you to travel double the distance. Which of the following tasks is not considered work? trying to turn on a stuck water faucet, pushing a wheelbarrow over a flat lawn, rolling a trash can down a steep driveway, dragging a bag of rake leaves behind you. The correct answer here is A. You are trying to turn on a stuck water faucet. That means, or that implies, that the water faucet is not moving through a distance. If the distance is zero, the work done is zero as well, since work done is force times distance. This was GD Live at PALS with teacher Alex, and the subject was work, power, and simple machines.